Have you ever loved somebody and they threw away your love? It may be because they didn't love themselves. So therefore, if they don't love themselves, how can they receive your love? What do they do with your love if they don't love themselves? How do they accept your love if they don't love themselves? Many of us are wondering why we were betrayed or why we got hurt or in pain when we tried to love somebody and it was dear love. I'm talking about real love, not this lust love, not this counterfeit love, but real love. Well, real love, if you're trying to love somebody who does not love themselves, they may not know what to do with it because they've never been taught how to love themselves. Therefore, they don't know how to love you back. And they don't know what to do with your love. Because many times when we have life and we're lifing, we are imitating that which we've already seen. And if we have not experienced true self-love, then we don't even know what real love is. You have to love yourself in order to receive love from somebody else. And loving yourself is also loving God and loving the God in you. You were made in his image and in his likeness. And I ain't come here to preach about loving God. I came to preach about you loving you. But you got to know who God is and who know who God is in you in order to love yourself. In other words, this, you got to forgive yourself. You have to learn that, yes, I have all kind of issues and character flaws and whatever, but God still loves me. I therefore love myself. You yeah, have done some things in the past, and guess what? All of us have done things in the past, but I got to love myself. How do you love yourself? Practice makes perfect. You have to love yourself, communicate with yourself, validate yourself, support yourself. How many of us are self-abusers? All we do is talk bad about ourselves to ourselves. Let me say that slow. How many of us are engaged in self-abuse? We talk bad about ourselves to ourselves and wonder why we don't love ourselves. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. I can go and have all this success. I've done it in the past. And you know what I will focus on? That one time I failed. I can look back over the entire year with all tremendous success that God has done for me and done through me. And then I'll, 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 I'll find myself focused on the one thing that didn't go right. And then I wonder why. I don't have a healthy, loving relationship with Jerry. I'm here to tell you right now, we're going to do better. We're going to learn to love ourselves and love ourselves thoroughly, truly, dearly. Because the best love is self-love. Because that means you understand that God loves you and you love who God loves. And then we are ready to receive love from someone else. I have thrown away love because when the love came, I did not know how to deal with it. Sometimes I got scared. I'll just be very honest with you. I questioned their motives. Did they really love me? What do they want from me? I questioned whether I could give the love back. I questioned whether I was really, uh, um, what's the word you want to say uh, when you think you're not worthy of it? I'm not worthy of the love. That maybe this person is loving someone they shouldn't be loving. Maybe somebody better for them than me, knowing what I've done and who I am. But then one day it happened in my life where I really got on my knees and I began to say, OK, Jerry, what's going on? My mom really helped me. She goes, you're always providing and doing and doing and doing for others. She goes, but you're doing that so that you can avoid loving yourself. You're always focused on everybody else so that you don't have to focus on yourself. It was at that moment that when I was on my knees praying, I said, OK, God, there's no way. I can be loved if I first don't love myself. So I started practicing. I stopped looking at all the negative things in my life. I stopped looking at all of the negative things I saw in other people in their loving relationship. And I realized that has nothing to do with me. I stopped looking at my past. I stopped looking at my parents and my grandparents. I stopped looking at other people and said, this is about me. I've got to do this for me. So work out, eat right. <laughs> That's, those are fruits of love for yourself. How about growing, learning, learning how to be better, learning how to be the good person that you need to be so that somebody can love you because you first love yourself. I want to encourage you today to find some things in your life that you love. So when I ask you the question on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love yourself? One being minimum, 10 being maximum. Ask yourself that question and answer it honestly. And then let's get busy so all of us are maximizing at 10. Wherever you are, you can start today. 
How much do you love yourself? Scale one to 10. Let's all become tens. I'm Jerry Maynard. This is soul success, love success. And I encourage you to join us next to Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. <laughs>